Senator Goldwater, everybody around here, of course, is interested in what might be the ultimate outcome of this civil rights legislation. Well, I think when the uh, House finally passes its version and the Senate takes it, it will be a good, strong bill that will ensure the voting rights of people in this country regardless of their race, creed, or color. I think that will be the, the total result of uh, civil rights this year. Senator, what do you expect specifically in integration legislation? Well, I don't think that uh, we'll have any this year. There is a section of the so-called Dirksen Substitute, the first section which would allow the, the federal government to go into states that have uh, refused or are moving slowly in integration. But I think this will be defeated. Uh, there is no constitutional right for the federal government to move into the states, and I don't look on the Supreme Court decision as the law of the land, and I think most of my colleagues feel the same way, so I doubt that there will be any action in this field. Do you uh, foresee any uh, trends in 1960s legislations that will affect uh, the balance of power in labor and management? No, unfortunately, uh, I made an effort to get a committee appointed to study this, but it hasn't been appointed yet. I don't think we'll have much activity in the labor field, and I think it's needed. But I think we can wait for a couple of years and see what happens in the uh, execution of the Landrum-Griffin bill. And then if it needs strengthening, we can take care of it then. Are you satisfied with the way that uh, bonds are being given on leaders and No, labor? because uh, Secretary Mitchell came out exactly opposite to the legislative intent when he said that bonds could be uh, written for position. We in the legislature said they had to be written for the individual or by name. Now I'm hoping that he'll change his mind on this. Governor Sawyer, you're here to interest Texas businessmen in coming to, the, to Nevada. Now, just what does Nevada have that Texas doesn't have? Well, uh, Nevada has, uh, has some things that Texas doesn't have, and Texas certainly has a number of things that Nevada doesn't have. 
But there is one thing that I think both states have in common, and that is the same kind of a spirit, the, uh, this aggressive, uh, imaginative spirit that has, for instance, made a new Dallas. I haven't been here for a number of years, and, and I'm tremendously impressed with the, the new look of your town. Now, Nevada has this same kind of a spirit, so we're uh, kind of moving around telling the story of our state. We're not uh, trying to hurt anybody or take anything away from anyone, but uh, we want people to know what Nevada is like, so there are uh, a group of us that are making it our business to, as much as we can, tell people about Nevada. I understand that some of the businessmen who might be interested in moving there are interested in the gambling aspects of Nevada as to where that would affect the, their industry. Yes, I, I think this is true. Uh, since Nevada is the only state that has legalized gambling, naturally uh, uh, people who are interested industrially in our state are interested in this aspect. We uh, uh, can show them pretty well that so far as uh, industry and gaming is concerned, that they can very easily live side by side, and as a matter of fact do. We have a number of industries in the state now. And I might just say that the... Uh, uh, the absenteeism in Nevada is actually less uh, than it is in most other states, which all boils down to the fact that the people who live in Nevada uh, are not affected adversely at all.